Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Sherry, this is Granny's Sewing Room, and today is Friday Sews. And I'd like to thank Jen for today in Jen's Sewing Room to get this uh, community of sewers together. Uh, there's a bunch of people that are taking, uh, got on board with this, so this is a really awesome uh, hashtag Friday Sews. Go check it out. You'll learn a lot, you'll enjoy all the ladies. So. Um, it's a it's an awesome awesome community she created so thanks jen uh what i've done this week well first of all i showed you this yesterday uh, i made me a mini mouse bag this is a free pattern from so stock or bagstocks.com and this is called the sunshine cross body pouch so it has a front zipper it has, I can't finish it, my hardware hasn't arrived yet. So I need my hardware with the sliders and the hooks and stuff. But it has a zipper on the inside as well. And it's a nice little, nice little size bag. So I thought I would make a couple for Christmas. You know, I didn't want to get into making bags. They just seem so difficult to me. But once you try one, you can't stop. And I want to thank Chris and April because they're the ones that encouraged me. I watched their videos of them doing bags and they got the fire under me and I had to try one. The uh, Laney bag, I believe, from Emmeline uh, is the bag I bought. That's the one that got me. But I want to learn some techniques before I attempt that bag because that I'm, I love that bag. Chris from Sew Notes made that bag and I just fell in love with it. And that's what pushed me into bag making actually. But I got a few more bags cut out just waiting for hard work to come so I can finish them up. And uh, let me show you my little haul from Walmart. Uh, Walmart's carrying some vinyls and some cork. This is the only cork they had. But I thought that would make a good accent piece to a bag somewhere down the line. So I wanted to grab cork. They do have um, that shape flex, that woven shape flex for the bags there. And I think that was like $3.97 a yard. And it's more expensive online from what I've noticed. But they had this vinyl, and this is a maroon vinyl. And this might be my Laney bag. So I think that's the name of it, the Laney bag. But uh, I got into the bag um, group, or let me see, bag of the month, and I got three different bags, but the Laney bag's the one I wanted. So that was $20 to get in there. But So that's, that's going to be the Laney bag, I believe. And that was like... Um, that was like $6.97 a yard at Walmart. I bought all they had of that. And then I bought this black with gold running in it, and it has diamonds stamped in it. And I hope you can see it. And this is going to go with this bag here. It's a tote I'm making because it has some gold in it. And I thought that I would put... This is an accent because it has a little pocket like over on the side and I thought that would kind of look good together, but I don't know. Then I, I went with this. this. I haven't sewn anything together yet, but then I went with this as the accent. I'll, I'll look back at this video and I'll be able to see the colors. That's kind of how I do with my quilts. I take pictures of them and then I can uh, pull them up and I can look at them because I can't visually see it when it's right here in front of me. But anyway, those are a couple vinyls and cork I got at Walmart. This was $10 a yard and I bought a yard of that. And then I found a clearance rack. These were dollar uh are 75 cents in the clearance. And I'm not into the skulls or any of this, but I'm sure someone would like a bag out of that. For 75 cents, I couldn't beat that. And then I got roosters, and we know my love for chickens. So that was 75 cents, and there's a yard there. And that's a rooster, but I'm not a rooster person, I'm a chicken person. And then I thought this would make a nice lining to some bag. 
Anyway, so that was my Walmart haul. I did get some vinyls and stuff, or not vinyls, some uh, interfacings and stuff from there. And I got some bags cut out, just waiting for the hardware. And uh, I guess that's about all I did this week. So next week is going to be working on bags and trying to work on a quilt and trying to make up my mind if I'm going to get an industrial machine. Uh, I still haven't made up my mind. My brother seems to be doing pretty good. It's getting stuck on the vinyl and uh, I have to kind of push it through. So it's bunching it up a little bit, but for the most part, it has really done good. So I just ordered, I got an order coming from WayWAC. I got ordered a Teflon foot uh, to see if that would help it run through, you know. But I don't know. Anyway, I, uh, I do have my eye on two Juki industrial machines. One would be the 1181 and because it has the double walking feet, but then I wouldn't be able to use it for any other of my sewing. And I like to do a variety of sewing. So that's the downfall of that one, just because that's the only thing I would be able to sew is vinyl, uh, denims. Um, but I, with sewing as much as I do of other things, I kind of want the machine to be a little more versatile. So I'm looking at maybe the 8700, the H. It's a little more powerful. Uh, could take this leather real well. And then I can always uh, exchange the feed dogs and the foot plate to do more of a quilting uh, piecing. So that's where I'm thinking probably the 8700 is going to be a better choice for me just so I can sew other items when I'm not want to sew bags and I still want to use my machine. Doesn't seem like quite a waste of money. Uh, just like an embroidery machine, that's all you can do is embroidery, my 10 needle. I bought that because I did have a, a group. I made a Facebook page and I put all my items that I made in Marketplace. And I did a pretty good business there for a while. For a good five years, I paid off my machine, uh, but it burned me out. I was trying to do my grandbaby at the same time and uh, take orders, and I was doing custom orders. I was really working on making the design the exact way they wanted the design. And it uh, burned me out. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the most part, my customers were good, but there are some that left me high and dry, and there are some that um, you couldn't please. So... I thought I would open an Etsy shop and just put the products that I've already made in there with a price on them. And if it sells, great. Um, then I don't have to deal with custom orders. Or And if I did do a custom order, it's, you know, it's, it's this way and it's mailed out. So, but I am having a difficult time trying to figure out how to even uh, post on Etsy. Uh, I'm not real computer savvy. So, just doing this YouTube stuff is about the best I'm doing. <laughs> so um, I don't have a bunch of software or uh, editing videos or I don't do that. That's I do all that free stuff and just uh, I'm not using my phone. I did get me a nice camera, Canon camera to record. But um, beyond that, you know, I want to spend my time learning to sew bags and make things, uh, not editing and but... I think it's been doing good so far. But anyway, so that's about all. Next week, I'm going to try to get a couple bags made and work on that quilt that I'm doing for Christmas for someone. And uh, looking forward to getting my two orders, you know, for my bag making. I do want to buy some um, tags to put on all my bags for Christmas, saying homemade or something to, to personalize them for them. But... Uh, I haven't found anything like that, so I tried to do some ordering from Etsy. Everything is out of stock. Everything is out of stock. Just the legs, uh, to do adjustable legs, because I would like to, you know, make put legs on some of the things, because this thing slides back and forth, and uh, everything, everything is out of stock, so it's kind of crazy what's going on. But um, I will let you go. Uh, I will give you an update on my doggy. She's doing real good. She is, it's been raining the last few days. We have been having a lot of rain. So she's not wanting to go outside. She's going number one outside really good because she can run out there, do it, and get back. But she has to walk around for 15 minutes to do the other number two. And uh, 
it's cold out there and she don't want to go out there. So she waits until I'm not looking and she finds a secluded spot upstairs somewhere. So I got her all locked in and mainly one, two rooms so I can kind of keep an eye. And I scold her, but and she knows it's a naughty thing to do, but she's a pretty good little sneak. But uh, So I'm giving her a little grace just because it's been raining, but today's no rain and no grace is going to be given today. So I have a little... Um, uh, paper roll and I hit my hand on it or hit the table and yell and you think I killed her you just think her feelings get hurt but she knows she knows how to go to the rug if she wants a goodie she knows how to dance in, in a uh, circle she knows how to sit look and beg pretty she knows how to give five so she's a real smart dog she knows how to ring the bell when she wants to go outside to go potty and Occasionally, she's ringing it just to run in and out, so we have to tell her no. So, eventually, I think that would be a good thing. My husband had to watch her the other night. I went to bingo last Saturday with my sister. Her and I spent the whole day together. Wore us out. But uh, we went to my brother's house because uh, he was having a little Halloween celebration. Her and I went out to lunch, and then we went straight to bingo. So. We left the house around 11.30, quarter to 12, and didn't get home until 8.30 that night. And um, my husband had to watch Bingo, and he was not happy. She was wanting to run in and out, in and out. <laughs> but that's what babies do. Anyway, so I'll let you go. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first, because you are in God's eyes. So you guys go out, have a wonderful weekend. God bless you all. And remember, do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord, and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everyone. Bye-bye. See you next week. Hey, will you do me a favor? Hit that thumbs up for me, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit the bell, because that will notify you every time I post a new video. And hopefully, with winter coming around, I'll be posting a lot more, get more comfortable in front of this camera show you some of my new creations. So God bless everyone. Bye again.